Well, because we're um, disobeying, I guess, the, the church's ruling on women being in leadership. So we're saying we have every right to be there, we're supporting other women who are being ordained in secret. And um, so from their point of view, they can say we're, we're dissident, but we don't see ourselves as dissident in that way. Um, I feel as a, as a dissident, and, but I, I stay, and a dissident stays. So I do not leave my church. For, I do not leave it. They have to, to ban me or what else. But I do not leave my church because I love it and I'm very, very Catholic. I, I'm uh, very sure about all these issues of the Catholic Church. And, and, um, and it's Jesus Christ who is my, my um, really um, important uh, partner and not, not the Pope or, or anybody. Now I have a They're committed to trying to continue a tradition which goes back 2,000 years. And they don't want to, in a sense, become trendy and then find out that 50 years from now they've sold out for a, for a, for a sound bite. So they're listening and they're reflecting and they're trying to evaluate to what extent they're stuck in a past which is already culturally gone by and to what extent they need to hold firm against something that is merely trendy. Yeah, we are here wondering if the Vatican is going back to the Middle Ages because uh, one of the new clothes for the new Pope uh, has been uh, realized with uh, the animal suffering, is a fur with their mind in. So we ask the new Pope, we pray the new Pope not to wear furs. Tra i quali un abito realizzato con finiture in pelliccia 